to the flames part two. Clang, clang, clang. When Teju's milk cans as the sounds of the fire grew louder, a tall silk cotton tree, its branches leaning across the road, had caught fire. They were almost beneath it when a burning branch fell to the ground a few yards in front of them. The boys got off the bicycle and left the road, forcing their way through at angle of thorny bushes on the left, dragging and pushing at the bicycle. They returned to the road some distance ahead of the burning tree. We won't get out in time. Yes, we will. The fire hasn't crossed the road as yet. A small flame leaped up from the grass on the left. Soon sparks and burning leaves would blow across the road to kindle the grass on the other side. Oh, look! What's wrong now? Then he saw an elephant standing in the middle of the road. Teju slipped off the crossbar. His cans rolled on the ground, burst open and spilled the contents. The elephant was moving about restlessly, big ears flapping. It turned its head from side to side, wondering which way to go. To the left, where the forest was still untouched, a herd of elephants moved towards the river. The leader of the herd raised its trunk and trumpeted. The elephant on the road raised its own trunk and trumpeted a reply and shambled off into the forest in the direction of the herd. Come Teju, jump on. We can't stay here much longer. Teju forgot the milk cans and pulled himself up on the crossbar. Romy ran forward with the bicycle, gained speed and mounted swiftly. He kept to the left of the road, trying to ignore the flames, the crackling, the smoke and the scorching heat. The animals that could get away seemed to have done so. The exodus across the road had stopped. We won't stop again. Not even for an elephant. We are nearly there. A jackal, overcome by the heat and smoke, lay in their path, either dead or or unconscious. Romy did not stop. He swerved round the animal and pedaled on. The last hundred yards were covered at top speed. Once out of the forest, they went freewheeling down the sloping road to the river. Look, the bridge is on fire. Burning embers had floated down onto the small wooden bridge and the dry ancient timber had quickly caught fire. Romy left the road and rode over sand and pebbles. With a rush, they went down the river bank and into the water. The next thing they knew, they were splashing around, trying to find each other in the darkness. Help! I'm drowning! Don't be silly. The water isn't deep. It's only up to the knees. Come here and grab hold of me. The water's so cold. Do you want to go back and warm yourself? Some people are never satisfied. Come on, help me get the bicycle up. It's down here just where we are standing. Together, they lifted the bicycle out of the water. Now sit on it. I'll push you across. We will be swept away. No, we won't. There is not much water in the river at this time of the year, but the current is quite strong in the middle. So sit still. All right? All right. Romy guided the bicycle across the river, one hand on the seat and one hand on the handlebar. The river was shallow and sluggish in midsummer. Even so, it was quite swift in the middle. But having got safely out of the burning forest, Romy wasn't going to let a little river defeat him. He kicked off his shoes, knowing that they would be lost, and gripped the smooth stones of the riverbed with his toes, concentrating on keeping his balance and getting the bicycle and Teju through the middle of the stream. The water there came up to his waist and the current would have been too strong for Teju. 
But when they reached the shallows, Teju got down and helped Lomi push the bicycle. They reached the opposite bank and sank down on the grass. We can rest now, but not all night. I've got some medicines for my father. He felt in his pockets and found that the pills in their envelope had turned into a soggy mess. Oh well, he has to take them with water anyway. They watched the fire spreading through the forest. It had crossed the road down which they had come. The sky was a bright red and the river reflected the color of the sky. Several elephants had found their way down to the river. They were cooling off by spraying water on each other with their trunks. Further downstream, there were deer and other animals. Romi and Teju looked at each other in the glow from the fire. They hadn't known each other very well before, but now they felt they had been friends for years. What are you thinking about? I am thinking that even if the fire is out in a day or two, it will be a long time before the bridge is repaired. So I am thinking it will be a nice long holiday from school. But you can walk across the river. You just did it. Impossible. It's much too swift. Riding through the flames part 2